All right, before I start this video, I just want it to be known I'm not down bad, I'm not down horrendous. With that said, I read all 12 volumes of World's End Harem in like a couple days. Like I said, I'm not down bad, not down horrendous. Everything is fine. I don't have it physically. I just kept getting it off Bookwalker. You can't get it off Amazon because it kept taking down some of the volumes, I guess. 12 volumes, I think it's like 85 chapters. It's written by someone named Link, just Link, and the art is by Kotaro Shono, which the art is f***ing amazing in like every aspect of this manga, okay? The story is something we'll talk about though, okay? But just, just to start this off, I'll explain. World's End Harem is something that's gonna be turned into an anime soon, and we're gonna be hearing some discussions about this in one way or another, probably mostly bad things, and I'll explain why. And you might be able to guess from the title. Basically, in the year 2045, the world has been infected by the, uh, its own pandemic, which this was, the, the writing for this started before COVID, which the author was like, oh, that's pretty ironic, but the, the virus that hits them is called the male killer virus. That's what they call it, at least. Because, as the name suggests, the virus specifically infects all the men and kills them. The only ones that survived were men who were put into cryosleep for a special illness that they had that was going to be found in the future through AI medicine research technology stuff. So they put them in cryosleep to wait. And that's where we basically start our story. We start our story following the main character named Raito. And he wakes up five years later in the future. And he's basically told, you're one of the only males alive in the world right now. Uh, we only have a few patients similar to your case and you're one of the like only couple that are actually awake right now and have so far survived the virus that instantly kills any men that seem to wake up from cryosleep so they went from this world in the 2040s where like everything is all automated everybody's happy just chilling out is just researching things all the time and stuff to now all the men in the world are either dead or stuck in cryosleep and the world is run entirely by women and there's like problems that they were having for like food rationing i guess i don't understand how that part worked with it but it seemed like you'd have more food but i don't know and th the reason why you're gonna hear a lot of talks is naturally you have the main plot is the main character wakes up in a world of only women and he's the only guy and she immediately tells him hey we need you to mate with like all these women we need you to mate with them because we need to save the human species we also need to find out if we can give birth to males anymore so, and they when they tried artificial insemination already which is basically I, I guess getting women pregnant just through like some kind of operation where maybe they inject sperm or something i'm not a doctor okay i'm not a doctor but they tried that and for some reason the, any males that are born from that die as well so what they've been trying to do since they've discovered that males with specifically this illness who have found a cure for it are seem to be immune for it for some reason our main character is one of them and i think there was like another guy that was awake at the at the time and they Basically saying, to save the human race, could you could you please sleep with, like, thousands and thousands of women? We've, like, specifically surveyed and found women who are interested in you and you would find interesting, and, and that's the plot of the manga. But the issue is our main character, and this is obviously, like, a generic hentai male fantasy kind of setting. Don't be mistaken, it is a hentai. It, <laughs> it's got a mature thing on it for a reason. But the thing is, it's not entirely a hentai in the sense that you're not having constant, like, sex scenes. And in in the beginning, a lot of the sex scenes are like skipped over for the most part. So you don't even really get a lot of those too much. And the reason why it's not really so much focused on the sex scenes, at least in the beginning, is because our main character is pretty much waiting for his crush, who he knew five years ago. He's waiting to meet up with her again. He's like in love with her. Her name was like Elisa Tachibana or something like that. And so he's like, well, if she's alive somewhere in this world, I'm not going to sleep with anyone. I want to find her because I, 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 you know, I want to confess to her. I want to maybe hook up with her as opposed to all these other women or whatever. He just doesn't really want to do it with them. He'd rather save himself for her. And so our main character we're following is just trying to like keep keep all that to himself. And naturally they keep trying to send women at first to try to seduce him and fuck him. And that's the kind of thing that happens. He just keeps telling them no. And they, they keep having this, you know, policy that they keep trying to look at in this world where they're just like, listen, we, we really need you to have sex with these women to save humanity, but we're not going to force you. We're, we're not going to like rape you or anything like that. Because that was the main concern I had. I thought there was going to be a lot of that instantly. There wasn't. I think it was mainly because the other other male character, Patient 1. Our main character is Patient 2. There's another guy who was already awake before that, Patient 1. And he is all on board for the male fantasy, okay? He's apparently fucking girls left and right. All of it looks hot. Uh, by the way, there's so many, like, there's so many characters in this series 
especially girls. I couldn't remember fucking barely. Ba- I could barely remember any of the names of any of the girls or any of the characters within this because there's so many of them and they're only like personality traits sometimes are like, this is how I act in bed uh, with a lot of them. It's like, I think there's also supposed to be a, a wide range of multicolored hairs that are supposed to distinguish them, but you don't really see that so much in the manga. You just see different shades of like gray and it's hard to determine, are you supposed to have purple hair? You can only really tell when they put them in the colored volume covers and stuff. And it's like on, on both ends of the, whatever mating process that they set up, they're like both consenting to it for those two cases. And I believe for the third case as well, the third case has like a weird thing that we'll talk about. The fourth case, I think is the only one that's problematic because patient four is like kidnapped by like this sex cult group. It's like religious sex group that like kidnaps him and like chains him up, makes him like a sex slave for them and like conditions him and shit. It's like really fucking awkward. But luckily enough that the story kind of abandons that plot line after it like establishes it and just kind of ignores it because there's not much you could do with it anyways. So Raito, our main main character, he wants to find his girl. And he also wants to find a cure for the MK virus because I guess he was some biology scientist before as well. So he wants to actually help with that, especially because he's immune and he knows other patients are immune as well. So he he, he thinks that he can figure out a vaccine process for that. So him and his caretaker girl, which is the one on the cover, Suo and Raito and a couple other girls that they have in their group are trying to figure out what happened with Elisa, his girl. And apparently she was getting really close to finding a vaccine as well but also uncovering a big conspiracy going on. Turns out the MK virus was like a man-made thing and they were trying to figure out who was responsible for it. So that kicks off like the main plot of World Zen Harem where you have this new world that's completely ruled by uh, women. There's like a special organization called the UW, which is like the United Women's Group, which has like these different branches all over the world. And they even have like an American branch that comes in to Japan at a certain point. And that, that girl there is like, main character in this later on and so you have all these different like facets with this and immediately when you go into this and you're viewing it from like Raito's perspective of like all this going on you think to yourself there's gotta be a catch here right there's gotta be some like evil shit going on with like what they're trying to do with these guys in this situation there's no way it's like like because they keep trying to bring up like you're the only men alive in this world that makes you the most valuable asset and so we really really need you to mate with all these women and it's like it sounds too good to be true it sounds like there's some kind of weird nefarious catch to it and especially with some of the other patients it really does feel like that like with patient one he he's having all the sex he wants and and mating with as many women as he can but he's like being heavily monitored by his caretaker in like weird ways and then patient three is like probably the most awkward situation where when he was woken up he was kept in like a special environment he was pretty much brought into his high school environment which he like just got out of cryo sleep from so he was put in a high school environment but instead now he's just in this new world where it's all women and just him and they all are trying to fuck him in that high school dormitory environment and they're just living every single day with that kind of thing in mind and like they fully explain the situation to him but the like his caretakers trying to get him conditioned for this world and kind of manipulating him to be attracted to some of these women that they've selected in some way and bringing in other women that they know will trigger like some memories from his past life and like have some kind of effect on him it's really weird what's going on and that caretaker girl is like also has some quiet plan to take over everything as well from like her own way and y- you have a lot of these threads that are like super interesting which is why i ended up reading all 12 volumes in the week you have all these super interesting threads because you're like all right this feels too good to be true where's the catch when does it happen because like you're getting some hot scenes you know the scenes every now and then but you also have this like interesting story going on that you want to find out what's going going on with that and that's why i really really enjoyed this and read all the volumes and then it turned out that didn't really go much of anywhere at all it was just like a lot of threads that it builds up towards just get kind of abandoned or there was like no real point for this element being there and it's kind of disappointing because there was a lot of potential for a lot of the threads it was setting up and it abandoned most of them for the overarching like conspiracy going on plot point where like they all kind of converged towards getting rid of the big bad that was behind spreading the mk virus and it was 
using whatever the situation they created to control the world and to also exterminate all the men, but like not killing all the men, but just keeping them there just in case for some reason. I, well, I, I know the reasons for plot reasons to bullshit away for them to save the world. And so I finished it. There's a part two, apparently. It's called like Afterworld, World's End Harem Afterworld. It, I don't think it's necessarily a part two two? Uh, maybe it is. I, I can't tell yet. And I don't know how long it will be. I think it's being released right now, but Seven Seas, who's publishing World's End Harem, is not publishing those yet. I think it's because it's still in its, like, new chapters or whatever, so. So, I don't know. It would have to do a lot in this part two to, like, redeem all the threads that it just kind of abandoned and make up for the interesting plot elements it built up and then just kind of ignored and then brought in new girls towards the end just because they wanted some other kind of diverse girls to experiment trying to seduce the main character who wasn't going to fuck them still because he was still waiting to fuck his crush or whatever. It's weird. It's awkward with where the writing goes, but you can't help but read it because you're just like, I, I want to know where this is going. I want to know what the catch is with this. And you can also read it for the very hot women and the very hot art. It's all really good. That stuff is all really good. That's just added extra stuff to it. What's more interesting to me is all that interesting story stuff that it builds up. But right now, it just feels like it's kind of abandoned it and I don't know I, I just I don't know but apparently there's also some spin-offs of this which I haven't read yet World's End Harem Fantasia and I think World's End Harem Fantasia Academy which is like a spin-off to the spin-off or something where instead of being in a futuristic world with this premise happening it's in like a fantasy world with this happening I don't know how that works but it's probably just another excuse for hot situational scenes and I, I don't know too much of what to say about some of the elements of the plot for World's End Harem without like too many major spoilers, but I will just tell you, if you think something is building up to a really, really cool climax with it, or like you think something is building up slowly for a really interesting aspect that you think will happen in the future and it'd be really cool to see it, it's not gonna happen. If you're waiting for like some weird Evangelion type manipulation 4D chess Gendo kind of deal happening on these kids, well not kids, these are all like full grown adults, on these males that are like the only ones in this world and the women are like doing some weird psychological shit to them. None of that's happening. It, it's just, I'm just really disappointed. It, it just feels like Link didn't know where it should go at times. It, so in a way, it's not fully a hentai series, even though it has a lot of hentai scenes because of how it's the plot is written. But it also feels like a hentai series in that same kind of way where the way it's written is, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I just want to figure out a way to include some hot girls in there in some way in like situations that my fans really, really like or whatever. And because because of that, it goes in like these directions that are too crazy. It feels like I just I just want Link, the, the writer here, I want you to just write out and plan out a series before you start working on it. Because you have so many threads that you started and then abandoned, and it seemed like you were just going with whatever was hotter. And a part of that might just be because you're trying to serialize it in like magazines, and because of that, you need to stay popular and relevant to stay in those magazines, and you might have just been going with whatever the fans really wanted. Like I think at some point, the fans voted for like one girl to be best girl and it's like one of the girls from the high school scenario with Patient 3 and he, she was like in a bunch of scenes after that when she didn't really contribute anything in those scenes. It was just another excuse for to have her in another sex scene. Not even like a special sex scene or like a special chapter or whatever although she did get one of those but it was just like she was there just because the fans voted for her and there was no reason for her to be there. It was weird. It was awkward. But yeah, so before you get into this series there's a lot of sexual activity some of which can feel really weird with the context of the scenario going on but they try to reiterate to you several times over that both parties of this are consenting for most of the cases, except for the one with patient four, where he's kidnapped by the sex cult or whatever. They're all supposedly consenting for like various reasons. A lot of the times though, the women are just like trying to sleep with the guys because one girl, I think just wanted to fuck one of the guys just so that she could get popular for an actress role or something like that. I, I don't understand how that worked. It was another random excuse to try to get it to happen, I guess. I don't know. It, it's probably just something to where like the UW or whoever's running these like patient mating like facilities are just, they just have a lot of strings that can pull for people. So if you do work for them in the mating process, you get stuff as a reward. But they also kept trying to make it sound like they just really, really wanted to sleep with these guys anyways, despite that. But it's like with some of them, it doesn't feel like they 
It feels like that's the only aspect of them being there. I, I did really like the idea of just, we're in a future where you catch some disease, seems incurable, just go into a cryo sleep thing for a couple years. We'll get you a cure once you're out. We'll wake you up once once we got you fixed up. Just go to sleep for a couple years. And like their bodies' ages were preserved as well, but they also made it clear later on that they had another machine to accelerate your body's aging for if you've gone into cryo sleep because they did that with the high schooler guy. I think it was like towards the end of high school when he went into cryo sleep. So when once they took him out of the high school facility, they put him in the machine so he had his uh, like fully grown five years later adult body for some reason. I don't know if it just felt too awkward once they were out of the high school scenario to just keep having his like high school senior body still doing things as opposed to just make him grow up or something like that. I'm not sure. What, what, what happens with our main guy patient too, Raito, his story is supposed to be like the main one, but at times it was like the most dull with like what was happening with him. Even though his story like makes sense, it's like, okay, I want to discover the vaccine. Oh, I found a secret message from my girlfriend. Oh, it turns out she found out that the, the virus is man-made. I'm going to try to follow in her steps to figure out what she found out and where she is now. And then it's like, okay, there's, so there's a big conspiracy going on with these like government officials or whatever. And they're, they're trying to like do some weird stuff or like threaten the men uh, and the girls that they get pregnant, even if that would save them or whatever, because they actually just want to kill all the men or something. I don't understand that though. If th that was a whole group that just wanted to kill all the men, they want to stop men from existing. Why don't they just get rid of them all? But apparently towards the end, they were just like, oh no, we, we were waiting until we perfected a way to give birth without men. And it's like, oh, okay. If you, if you really felt like you were going to get that done, like in a couple weeks, I don't think, I don't think you need guys around for that long for that. I don't know. It, it's just weird. I don't get it with some of them. And and there was no real twist with what happens with Raito's storyline. It's just, he uncovers there's a conspiracy, they go around, they try to not get caught, eventually they figure out a way to create a vaccine, and then they go through the process. He nearly dies during the process, but he just kind of fights off the virus because he's got his harem of women around him, and... Oh, God. He had spent the entire manga not having sex, even with the girlfriend when he meets up with her. Because I think they had some discussion about that, and they were just like, they weren't sure if they wanted to do it until everything was all over or something like that. And eventually, they were, like, about to do the vaccine, and she's like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You have to have sex with somebody, because we need your hormone levels to be up a certain amount or whatever for the most accurate creation of the vaccine, because they just want an excuse for him to finally have sex, I guess. And instead of just having sex with her, she's like, no, no, no. I need you to have sex with me and Suo because she's actually for some reason I have no idea why she's also my clone the girlfriend so she's like a clone of the girlfriend who can't survive outside of that laboratory that they were initially at for a certain amount of time and I guess having sex with her prevents her from dying I, I don't get that or why we had to do that but they were just like yeah she's actually a clone of me and I want to have sex with you because we need you to have sex with your hormone levels to be up but also I want I want you to have sex with her too because she's supposed to be a clone of me uh, she might be dying soon maybe having sex with her could save her i'm not entirely sure it's some really really wacky looney tunes bullshit excuse to just basically have him to have a threesome for his first time having sex but to have it with both his girl and the caretaker who looks exactly like his girl and it's what the fuck holy shit it's um you can tell the, the like designs of the girls are really really good and all the scenes involved with that are gonna look really really hot so i would suggest checking those out if you want from bookwalker but story-wise you're gonna be disappointed with where things are set up and what things just kind of get abandoned but there's still a chance for that kind of stuff to come back and get fixed with the part two that's coming out but i have no idea with how this part ends i feel like a lot of those elements are just gonna be just it's nothing's gonna come out of them there's not gonna get anything like what i expect to happen with this but it does enough to keep you interested and wanting to just keep going with it it just makes you really really want to keep reading up on it in various ways and a lot of it is also because you know the scenes are nice they're nice now with that in mind though understand worlds in harem is getting an anime adaptation it was supposed to come out last season but it got delayed to this season some people were saying maybe it's because crunchyroll who's the ones that's going to be showing it had some complaints about the stuff that it showed no i can already tell you right now crunchyroll is not involved with the fucking production of the show as far as i'm aware it's not like a crunchyroll original or anything crunchyroll has nothing to do with this being made the reason why it was delayed it's not because of problematic sex scenes with it i'm gonna throw out a random guess here that the production for this is 
probably not going to look very good at all. They were probably not very happy with how it looked quality wise. They probably gave it to some dog shit hentai animation studio and it probably looks like dog shit because of it, even though it's not supposed to be specifically focusing on the sex scenes. I feel like they're probably going to give it to some dog shit studio like whoever did the redo of Healer anime. And they're just going to say, hey, you guys did a uh, edgy fucking hentai borderline thing that's really just a hentai that's not really a hentai. Could you just make us that? But like with this plot instead, I, I feel like they're probably going to do something like that. And that's where we're going to get a lot of issues. But I haven't looked into who was actually doing the new anime yet, or I think there was a first episode released for it too. And I haven't checked that out at all yet. And I don't know if it'll be remade for whenever they show it in the next season, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. I am still surprised that Crunchyroll agreed to do it, but this is not a situation like Interspecies Reviewers where they accidentally licensed this not knowing it was going to happen. That was what happened with Interspecies Reviewer and Funimation. They took it down because they didn't realize it was going to be that much hentai in the actual anime adaptation because I guess the manga was like very different with the levels of that. And World's End Harem, there's like no, there's, there's no way that they could have licensed that not thinking this was going to be in there. So yeah, that's what you're getting. You're going to be dealing with, we're, we're all going to be dealing with everybody talking about this in the next season, I think, in one way or another. My guess is we're, people are going to be talking about it because it's dog shit. I, I think, I really do predict that the anime adaptation is going to look really, really bad quality wise. And that's going to be a shame considering the really nice art that they put into the manga. So I don't even think we'll even get to the point where people will complain much about the aspects of the plot because I think everything will just stop it. It just looks like garbage and then they'll just ignore it. That's what I think is going to happen. It could also become a so bad it's good kind of anime where like it looks like shit the plot is kind of bullshit at times and it, they're just really dumb like porn plot things but it's like so, sort of kind of interesting with how it progresses and so we just kind of laugh at it it might, it might get that kind of treatment too I have no idea but I will find out so World's End Harem would I recommend it that's tough to say. I would definitely say if you want something that will make you constantly want to keep going through it, this is definitely it. Where like you won't really get bored of it, but you'll be very disappointed towards the end. I think with where it goes with the ending, you'll be disappointed at all the possibilities it could have had that you probably imagined, and then it just kind of abandoned. That's what I would think. So I would say go into this, but don't go in with big expectations for how it's going to end and how you might enjoy it. At the very least, I could definitely say you will go into this this, appreciating the art and if you're into you know the loot stuff you'll appreciate that a lot there's a ton of it there's a fuck ton of it uh less so at the beginning because we're focusing on the main character who's trying to like hold himself back and then there are some women who they keep trying to come up to him and seduce him and they do it in very sexy ways that's just kind of a thing that happens so world's end harem that's coming I was going to make a, a joke about coming, but I, I, poor taste. Okay. Very poor taste. I would never, I would never make any kind of joke like that. That's not funny. Okay. Wait, what do I look like? A fucking, fucking 10th grader in high school making the, the sex jokes. I would never. But yeah. World's End Harem. You can get it on Bookwalker if you want it. Link will be in the description. If you don't want it, well, you can check out the, the anime adaptation that's coming probably in a couple weeks. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, gamers.